Okay. I got my uh, thinking cap on here, and um, yeah. Cooper, go get your ball. Cooper, get your ball. Cooper, get your ball. Anyway, got my thinking cap here on, and um, you know, It's not scary. Nope. The cardboard cutouts, you know, that's basically what they are. Cardboard cutouts. No. No, there's more to that. It was more of like trying to, uh, sit through a non scary gory movie hmm. I don't know anyway <sighs> I hate when uh, you know you watch something and uh you know, there's there's people that they're like, oh, ooh, I know it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. Like they they are they are like, probably already seen it, or they probably are just like they caught on. So those who catch on real fast, they're like, oh yeah, I know it's, I, it. Yeah, I'm one of those type of people. It takes a while, but you know, once I start spinning and the wheels are in motion, uh, the the mouse. And my, uh, and my wheel just keeps going, and, uh, you know, the flowers, so, uh, they're for Algernon. <sighs> flowers for Algernon. Mm. Anyway. Um, movie trivia. So, here's the movie trivia. So, in the movie Sandlot, what was the name of the junkyard dog. Does anyone know? Hercules. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, but I did notice that you did have uh, after death. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that because what does happen after death? Some people have these moments of having near death experiences. So, I guess for me, it would be probably knowing that if you are spiritual in the supernatural fandom. What happens after death, like, you're gonna meet him somewhere. You're gonna have a meal with him. Or her. And then, he'll give you the opportunity to move on or to finish what you started, or do something, you know, um, important. As, as, as important as it may seem, you shouldn't ever give up on yourself. Um, my near-death my near experience was basically getting on my knees and asking to dig up the bones. So we had to dig up the bones. Now I got the bones. Now 
I gotta burn them the salt and the holy water. Now, all I gotta do is gotta burn this franchise down. Just burn it down. Like I said, driver picks the music. Shotgun. Custard. Custard. Ooh, custard. Frozen custard, huh? No. A frozen custard blueberry pie. Mmm. I can get pie afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, I got that movie review, so, uh, review. I think it would be a little bit better than reviewing Five Nights at Freddy's. It's really that scary. I know. She, she's probably like vision complaining right now. She's like, it was scary. It was scary. It's like, no, it wasn't. The games are scarier than, than the, the movie. The movie was basically just a supernatural episode. Anyway. All the souls were gathering. Man. It was a... It was a, a weird mixed audience. In that theater. Not all screaming. Mm -mm. The one horror movie where people weren't really screaming. And I was like, is this a horror movie? You sure? It's supposed to be scary, right? I wasn't terrified. No, I was only terrified until I saw, her, you know, um, the whole premise, like, come into full circle. And I was like, oh, yeah. I knew from the beginning. He wasn't wearing his uh, safety glasses. So, like I said... It's behind you. But, don't worry. Why? Well, because I took care of it. All those spells on the, the glass keep those evil spirits at bay. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, I get the last joke. Uh, yeah. Uh, it wasn't really a really joke. It was just kind of like <clears throat> I was. I was kind of laughing at like moments in the movie, and, and, and everyone else was, and it was. It's okay. But there was moments I was just like, oh, I, I, I couldn't say anything. But I was like, hmm. Uh, I waited to the very end of the credits, and I watched all the credits and. I, 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 like I said, Blumhouse, uh, you know, I hope you can make another decent sequel to the series. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, rain on anyone's parade, because I don't want to do that. The industry is tough as fuck, so I get it. But there's, uh, <clears throat> there's things I gotta do after death. And... That movie looks pretty interesting, so I, I I think you know from my my lives that I have uh, uh, you know saved. I have like one one more life to save here, uh, so I'm gonna keep running. I'm not gonna stop. All right, all right, now I stop. Ha ha. I get there. Open the driver's door. Aha! There you are, the hat man. That is basically the black phone. Aha! See? And it's like, okay. Now, that trap that he's in when he falls asleep and he wakes up in that chair. Aha! 
Yeah, it's jigsaw. So you just put things together, and if it fits, it fits. If it works, it works. Mm -hmm. I know, but we're not gonna build a fucking fort, okay? But then everyone, but here's the, here's the, here's the kicker. Everyone was so fucking happy. They want to be friends. No, no, they don't. They want their souls to be set free after death. They don't want to be friends. All right, so. Like I said, I'm going to probably regret saying this, but... When the Winchesters go into that building, it's the same episode, pretty much. I think that's season. Uh, anyway, we have to uh, know that in the ball pit scene, you know, it's like, okay. There wasn't a giant shark squid in the ball pit. No, it was a giant fucking Terminator robot. Giant kid that had a hook. That's Foxy. Yeah, alright. Anyway. The red eyes. Alright. Terminators. Cybernetics. Guy in that. <laughs> okay, so like I said, uh, you know, it all comes full circle after death. Some people get a second chance. Some people don't. Some people have these these moments where they don't want to know, and that's the point. They don't want to know what happens. They ask themselves and they ask others why. Why? Well, <sighs> my liege, my liege, I, I, I must say that, you know, it's okay, you know, I might be brave, brave Sir Robin, but, you know, I'm quivering with my, uh, my tenacity right now, not insanity, my tenacity, and my wits, I keep my wits about myself, because right now it's like, he it goes into a dream world, so basically now it's inception, now he's trying to save his younger brother, right, I don't have a brother, I have a sister, I would, I would save my sister if if I was, you know, if it was, you know, the roles were reversed. Just saying. Just saying. I wouldn't stop running after that car. I'd been in that car. That's the trauma. And it stops. <laughs> How? How the fuck do I remember that? After death? Because it happened. My life flashed before my very own eyes. And then I had a meal with, you know, the boys. And uh, I'll tell you what. Job well done. Enough with all this, you know, nonsense. I guess that's what it is. It becomes complete nonsense after, you know, a while. <laughs> Gotta use common sense. To really figure it out. I mean, it, it, like, or just gotta be really focused in, 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 in things. 
Keep your concentration. Keep your wits about you. And determination. And maybe you can find all the Easter eggs in that film. Because there's more Easter eggs in Five Nights at Freddy's. In Five Nights at Freddy's. There's Easter eggs to other films that Blumhouse is, like, trying to let everyone know about. <laughs> Am I the one that's only, you know, oblivion, oblivious to, to it all? No. I see everything. I hear everything. Even after death. And uh, I'm still living after death. I love death. He's a great, great companion. Because I'm not going to bind him. I'm not going to, you know, chain him down. When the Reaper comes, they all come. This is true. And we must wear the colors to mourn our losses. Right. Well, that's what, you know. But then some people have, like, these experiences of like, out-of-body experiences. And it's like, well, keep fighting. Keep holding on. I will let go. Until you say let go. And then it's like, let go. Okay. I let go. Can I move on? Alright, so moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Gotta move on. Can't stay here. Gotta move on. You gotta find your own little personal comfort. And within time and stuff, things get better. Okay, well, I'm not really depressed. I'm just kind of mixed feelings about, like, you know, what 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 happens next. I mean, because basically it's, it's been solved. You know, once you solve it, it's like, oh, damn. Now what? You know? You wait. And then it becomes a waiting game. And then when they pick the number, it's like, oh. <clears throat> There's nothing left, you know? There's really nothing left. Because basically, he goes full body, and the young kid and all the ma all the other animatronics turn on him. So basically, now that's his hell. So. Sweet po poetic justice. I think he's now kicking his own ass, wishing he was back in 13 Ghosts, to be honest. <laughs>